Hey, so dope video for today, how to memorize Bible verses, Bible scriptures, and here are my tips. So remember to hit the like and subscribe button for the Blessing Report with Winston Mayo, the regular Christian guy. Remember that this video has been sponsored by my new book, Searching for Land. It's on all the book buying places, so go check that thing out. And now let's get to the show. All through the summer, okay. from the winter, January okay. to December, let's get it going. Going, going. Hello, welcome to the Blessing Report with Winston Mayo, the regular Christian guy. And we have a cool, dope video for today, and it's tips for how to memorize Bible verses, Bible scriptures um, quickly and like most effectively. So I want to try to make this a quick video because there's not much actually scriptures on it. So all this is just. Um, learning tips that I've developed throughout school and um, just what I've learned from, I don't know, living life. <laughs> so um, first tip that I would do is um, auditory learning. Read your Bible verses out loud. So that is just um, basic muscle memory. Um, and cognitive thinking when it comes to memorizing things. And that's even the word of God. Um, faith comes by hearing. So if you are trying to uh, memorize Bible verses, make sure that you memorize them by reading them out loud. So John 3.16, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believed in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Boom. I can hear it, I'm also saying it. So there's like two parts in the memorization process. All right, step two, uh, this is a game of numbers. Repetition is important, all right? So that's just um, who we are set up as human beings. We are creatures of habit. So um, we just have to keep practicing. It's uh, muscle memory. So um, perfect practice makes uh, perfection. So. As you're reading, like literally have your um, Bible verses that you want to memorize um, daily or um, I'll, I'll even say minimum of twice a day in the beginning of the day, um, at night, maybe even three times. Let's, let's just go with three. <laughs> but um, that actually um, gets into my next topic. It's a game of numbers. So if we are um, reading and studying, I use this for um, vocabulary when I was in school. If I needed to cram, like I just need to pass a little test or quiz real quick. Um, three times is the number of like short term memory and like surface level memory. So say it three times, um, God has not given you a spirit of fear, but power of love and a sound mind. Uh, Second Timothy 1, 7. God hasn't given you a spirit of fear three times, all right? Boom. By hearing it three times, um, it's, it's like planning short-term memory. So you may forget it by tomorrow, but you'll have it um, for a little bit, right? And also, um, you have the number of seven. So seven and yes is the number of completion for all us Christian folk. But it's also um, to get it into the next level of memory. So it's just um, repetition. So whatever Bible verse you're trying to remember, um, say it seven times out loud and then boom. Um, it should move from short-term memory to more of the beginning stages of long-term memory. All right. Um, next, well, still in the game of numbers and repetition, it takes you um, I used to take um, band class, and, like my band teacher was like, you need to do something consistently for 90 days to become like a habit in the lifestyle. So you have to like, well, it's just what the Bible says, meditate on his word for an extended period of time for it to actually stick. So it will just be something that you know and you live with. But also what he was saying is that if you practice incorrectly, I think he said it takes like 28 times to unlearn something, right? So um, make sure when you are memorizing Bible verses that you are doing it in the same order um, that you have been doing it. So if I'm beginning with the verse and then the actual scripture, so Galatians 6, 9, um, don't be weary and well-doing, but 
Um, don't grow weary in well-doing, for you will reap in due season if you faint not, all right? I need to always have that placement of Galatians 6, 9 in my head. Um, don't grow weary in well-doing, blah, 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 blah. So that's how um, you get the stick because you'll remember the structure along with the actual scripture, all right? Um, biggest factor for me um, is life. Um, when you have to answer questions, um, it just helps you memorize um, in your study. Um, so life is a great way to memorize um, Bible scriptures. So when something comes up and um, just an example, someone hit me up and was like, hey, is there such thing as demonic tongues? I literally remember this because it's so applicable. <laughs> and um, I was like, I don't know. I know there's angel tongues. Are there demonic tongues? I did a Google search. There's a whole chapter on the gift of speaking in tongues. 1 Corinthians 14. I remember that off top because I had to do research. So there's actual work in memorization. But um, because I had to live life and answer a question, that helped me memorize um, the verse. And I found like a whole section on it. So I guess that's like my um, next point. Break down Bible verses into themes and sections, all right? So I'll start with sections because that's the easiest. Um, it helps you memorize Bible verses um, in sections because that's literally how the Bible is set up. Uh, Matthew 1, Matthew 2, there's chapters, all right? So it will be easier for you if you're trying to memorize um, Bible scripture, Bible verses, to finish out whole books of the Bible um, in numerical order. You don't have to um, do chronological order of the Bible, but it will help you if you do um, numerical order um, in books instead of um, jumping around. That's really not helpful. Devotionals are really um, problematic because they're so scattered and they don't even have um, a common theme. So if I've been in the book of Romans for like a month, um, I'm going to remember, even if I can't get the verse verbatim, word for word, I'm going to remember I've been in Romans, this verse is in Romans. So stick with sections, all right? And then um, another way to memorize um, Bible verses, I, can't, I really feel like I'm going to keep saying remember <laughs> and memorize, smash together, but um, is sticking with themes. So if you want to study the Bible, uh, for healing. Literally look up all of the Bible verses speaking on healing. Like it's a simple Google search. Um, there's Bible Gateway, Bible Hub. Um, there's another one. It's a very famous. Actually, I'm going to keep this in here just so y'all know how easy it is to look up things. What does the Bible say about marriage? Genesis chapter 2, verse 24. Therefore, a man shall leave his father and his mother and... Openbible.com. Um, Openbible.com is literally the like end-all be-all for all your Bible questions. You got a Bible question, Openbible.com um, pops up first. All right, so it helps you memorize um, Bible verses because of common themes. So there's something for your mind to um, cognitively latch on to versus like um, if you were to go through Bible scriptures or whatever, or um, chapters, there's like Jesus talks about a lot of stuff like interwoven, even like um, the Beatitudes, right? Um, blessed are the meek in heart, um, blessed are the broken spirit. Like, there's such depth in the material that um, sometimes it's hard to grasp onto it. So um, themes are good. So um, study sickness, study fear, um, study boldness, study abstinence, sex. Like whatever you're trying to study, find all the Bible verses on that scripture and then um, it will just help your mind to latch on to something, all right? So, that but also themes within chapters okay so if you can find a common theme that you can um, process the information better um, that's 
awesome. So do that. So prime example would be Matthew 13. Matthew 13 is just a very in-depth chapter about sowing and reaping. Um, so sowing and reaping with the four grounds and the word of God, but also um, sowing and reaping in the seed in the kingdom of God with some being sown um, as wheat and others being sown as weeds and tares. So you're like, oh, there are two, well, I think it's like three stories, or oh, I mean, three parables of um, sowing and reaping in this chapter. I'm going to um, label this chapter as like sowing and reaping or something in harvest, like something like that. So something that your mind can um, wrap itself around. All right? There are great visuals when it comes to um, Bible reading resources. So um, the Bible Project, they actually have like an animated series on YouTube. They're a pretty good resource. Um, they're kind of like um, YouTube spark notes for um, the Bible. So that's that's pretty cool. So just know what type of learner you are. If you are a hands-on learner, auditory learner, or a visual learner, um, I think it is very important um, to actually write out scriptures. Um, that's just an old practice. I used to use it for um, memorizing vocabulary terms and definitions. Yes, I would say it, so that helps me with my auditory or whatever, but actually having to write verses by yourself, it helps with uh, memorizing Bible verses as well. <laughs> and so those are like little quick tips about how to memorize um, Bible verses. So repetition is gonna be like your um, top one. So even if you have, um, I guess a Bible reading plan, the way I used to do my um, like memorized verses plans, I'll read a chapter and I'll pick one verse that I think is the summary verse or something that just spoke to me in my life. And that would be my verse. So that's Galatians 1, bah. <laughs> and then um, day two, I mean Galatians 2, got that one. But when I'm reading and trying to memorize Bible verses, I'll have to read Galatians 1, then Galatians 2. So you keep on stacking it, and by the time that you finish the book um, of the Bible, I think Galatians has, I might be wrong. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna do that one. Um, I think, what is it, Romans, nope. Let's go with Romans. I think Romans has 14 chapters. You should have 14 verses, and um, on day one, you're doing one verse. On day two, you're doing two verses. Um, Romans one, Romans two. Day, day three, you're doing Romans one, two, and three. So that repetition is gonna help. So repetition, um, read your Bible verses out loud. That helps a lot. Um, this is not what because <laughs> I can't remember. Um, number three, write your Bible verses, because that helps. Um, number four, divide up your Bible verses into categories and sections because um, themes help in the memorization process. And then five, real life. Make this applicable to your own life. So um, when you have real life struggles of uh, your friends uh, losing a loved one, know that it's in First Thessalonians, right? So, um, I guess it's just a side note, it's not really a tip. Be, <laughs> um, be kind of chronological in your reading. So if you're reading like the New Testament, um, like finish it off, go from um, Matthew all the way to Revelations, um, go from Genesis to Malachi, I think it's the last one in the Old Testament, because there are certain themes and teachings that the Old Testament, like, there's like an Old Testament voice, I don't, I don't know what to call it, and there's like a New Testament voice. So even if I can't even get the um, books of the Bible, I can tell just by the way the verse sounds that, oh, that's in the New Testament, it's probably from Paul, it's probably from the Gospels because there's even like a Jesus voice um, and similarities between the Gospels and storytelling and stuff like that, or even prophecies, right? But this is um, the biggest tip um, <laughs> when it comes to like memorizing Bible verses that I want y'all to get out this video 
It doesn't matter how much of the Bible you know if you don't live any of the scriptures that you read. So I just want to be real about it. There's a lot of knowledge, but God said not to come in word only, but in power in the spirit of God, all right? So that should be like 1 Corinthians 13. Ugh. See, so it's okay. Like I can't quote every Bible verse that I've ever read, but I know it's in there. <laughs> and I know it to be true because the Holy Spirit is called an advocate and a teacher who will bring everything back to your remembrance um, that Jesus has spoken. So the only way that we can um, truly um, memorize the word is if we live it. Like having it written on the scrolls of our heart. Like um, David said this, he said, Lord, hide your word in my heart that I may not sin against you. Like, write it on my heart. So, that's most important. It doesn't matter if it's in your mind because I can remember a bunch of things that don't apply to my own life. Um, I can be an expert in um, the mechanics of baseball and throwing a curveball. But if I'm not able to throw a curveball myself, I'm just a useless person <laughs> in the sport. So we don't need um, Christians to be useless people in the sport of evangelism and salvation and um, the power of God and the Holy Spirit, all right? <laughs> so memorizing is cool, but living is better. So make sure that we are um, worthy of the calling that we are in. We are called living epistles. We are living letters of um, the gospel of Jesus Christ. So live out something um, amazing, basically. And um, I just want to encourage y'all um, that we fight, like the Bible is the word of God, which is called the sword of the spirit. Like this is our offense, it's not our defense, uh, which is faith, the shield of faith. So um, it's real cool listening to like music and sermons, all that. But if you ain't got the word in you, you don't have uh, much of a stability uh, to be able to fight against the wiles of the devil and um, all his tricks and all the um, arrows of the enemy and all all that other stuff. <laughs> so um, make sure that like it's cool to paraphrase every once in a while, but um, just do your due diligence. It takes work, like. Read your Bible, memorizing takes effort and work, so just put in the work, put in the effort. And um, it says God is the author and the finisher of our faith, so he's going to finish a good work that he has started in you. So just pray for these things. And, um, be specific. I don't think we pray for things um, in the expectation that we can actually receive it. Like, if you have a problem memorizing your Bible verses or reading the Bible, pray for those things. Be like, Lord, I pray that I have more of a hunger and a thirst and a desire to read your word. <laughs> Lord, I pray that you help my memory to bring this all into remembrance. Bah! So keep renewing your mind. That's why reading the Bible is so important because you can actually renew your synapses in your brain um, by reading it, which is completely mind-blowing, by the way. But just keep, um, it says meditate on his word night and day. So it's okay not to move like quickly through chapters. Like if you want to spend a week on one chapter of the Bible, do do what works for you. Um, make sure you're in a, I guess like an isolated space where it's like calm and peaceful and quiet. Uh, don't be distracted. The Audible Bible is great, um, but it's, it's also, like I'm just speaking from my own experience, it also helps enable laziness all right, and slothfulness. So you're like, oh, I don't feel like actually um, noting things. Oh, let, let, let that be tip number six, um, take notes. <laughs> Taking notes actually helps you memorize um, parts of the Bible. So um, that's just revelation if you are in Galatians 6 and you remember something from Galatians 6 relates to something in 1 Corinthians 4, pair them together. Like, be like, oh, this relates to this verse where it says blah, 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 blah. Like, 
um, as you expand, um, as revelation comes by the Holy Spirit, then um, there are more checkpoints for your brain to latch onto and memorize Bible verses. So that's why um, I said just living life helps you memorize Bible verses. There are certain checkpoints in life that will help you memorize um, the different parts of the Bible. So yeah, I feel good. I feel like I've given y'all good answers for stuff. And I just wanna thank y'all for watching the Blessing Report of Winston Mayo, the regular Christian guy. Hey, remember that this video has been sponsored by <laughs> my new book, Searching for Land. It's on all the book buying places, so go check that thing out. Um, Almost sold out of my like 300. And yo, if you just support me, um, bless the ministry or whatever, uh, the blessing report, this has been a blessing to you. And I'm um, so seed into it. But if you don't want to, or you already have the book, you're actually gonna be a blessing to me by just hitting the like and subscribe button um, to my YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, um, but mainly YouTube, Instagram, and um, Facebook. So just make sure that you like, um, subscribe, and share because this can be your evangelism, your ministry, and your witnessing. And you can be a blessing to someone else that just needs help in this um, strategies of life. And even if you're not um, trying to read the Bible, but you're in school, these are good strategies I used to use in school and um, to pass my classes and be on honors AP classes or whatever. And also, um, remember, there's a little bell on um, YouTube, and actually that gives you notifications anytime I have a new video. I know I'm not that consistent. I want to shoot <laughs> to be more consistent. Um, we're going to try New Music Mondays, maybe comedy videos on Wednesdays, and like teaching videos on Sundays, or teaching videos on Wednesdays, and then comedy videos on Sunday. I actually like that better. Yeah, I like that better. So um, we're gonna try that. <laughs> I'm literally gonna cram a bunch of videos today. I'm literally gonna film a lot of videos today. Um, so I'm more consistent um, about that, like music reviews and album reviews I haven't been doing on. I am more teaching videos and comedy videos with my friends when they're over. Um, remember, everything in the description box is very important. So all my social media handles, um, all the Bible verses, all the music that I play. Um, in my YouTube videos and um, leave a comment below. I like interacting with y'all and I like, um, I don't know, <laughs> hearing back for y'all what y'all think and how your life is going. I try to answer as best as I can just one person. So um, don't feel ignored. <laughs> and um, last thing, I know y'all seen this dope hoodie, Fear Over Faith. So this is by Godly Girl Tees. And they actually do male apparel, which is very cool. So they gave me like a quick little birthday gift, like a little sponsorship or whatever. So if you're liking um, this, I know like the majority of my audience is female. So men, you can get stuff, but this is a dope uh, <laughs> woman's selection as well. So that is Godly Girl Tees. So that is www.godlygirltees.com webstart.com so i'll just put the link in the description below and i'll also put it at the end of the video as well i guess i'm gonna try to do like next videos or whatever so people will stay until the end so next video i'm going to do is um how to fast a lot of people have been asking me about that and so um be on the lookout for the next video on how to fast so thank you for watching the Blessed Report with Winston Mayo, the regular Christian guy. And remember that God blesses people by using people to bless people. So how have you been a blessing today? Thanks for watching. You ain't gotta be perfect. Boy, just lift up your head, cause everything will be working. Do the worst in your best, cause all the scheme is gon' scheme out of All the dreamers gon' dream out of All through the summer from the winter, January. I get money. I got no more. I love Lucy. On the mall. Check it out, check it out. Hey. Check it out. Hey. Check it out. Hey. I tell all my Jesus. Bless it up. Blessings down. Pray it up. Bless it up, bless it up. Hey. Praise it up, praise it up. Hey. Worship it up, worship it up.
I tell all disciples, pray them up. Blessings down. Praises up. Bless it up, bless it up. Bless it up, bless it up. Bless it up, bless it up. Bless it up. Bless it up. Bless it up.